Welcome back to the Two Minute Warning. Today we are talking LA Chargers. Justin Herbert and the Chargers conducted an interview today uh, and discussed with Herbert how the offense is going to be putting more pressure on him this year. So today I'm going to be reacting to that. I, I really do think Justin Herbert, or I mean, it's not just me, obviously, it's the NFL group consensus that he is the future of this Chargers team, and the Chargers team has a very bright future because of that. So today, again, reacting to an interview about the Chargers offense with Justin Herbert. Before we get into the video, <clears throat> question of the day, and this is a tough one that I've just spent the last few minutes thinking about, uh, whether or not, do you guys think Justin Herbert will be over or under 40 touchdowns this year? Uh, of course, last year, 31 through 15 games, 31 touchdowns through 15 games. Remember, Tyrod Taylor got the week one start. Uh, this year's 17th game, do you think he can hit 40 touchdowns over under 40? Which are you taking? Uh, and at the end of the video, you'll hear my answer. I think this is a tough question, so I could see it go either way. But let's get right into the video. A little bit of context uh, for the conversation between the Chargers and Justin Herbert. We all know they brought in, uh, or they're bringing in a new coach, former Rams assistant coach, uh, Brandon Staley. A guy that is a defensive heavy coach. So uh, we're, we're glad to see that with the Chargers' weaker side of the ball being the defense. Uh, so, of course, Brandon Staley's coming in. So there's a question mark about him. But a lot of guys, including myself, do have faith in that. Another guy that uh, you might not be, sorry, uh, might not be as well known is a new offensive coordinator that the Chargers are bringing in, Joe Lombardi. Yes, that actually is uh, in relation to Vince Lombardi, actually his grandson. I thought that was pretty cool. But new off a new offensive coordinator for the Chargers. Uh, so that's going to be bringing in a new situation for Justin Herbert. This guy, uh, Joe Lombardi, actually spent some time, a decent amount of time, uh, under Sean Payton in New Orleans. So he's been under one of the greatest coaches of, of my time, at least. And uh, he's, he was successful there as an offensive coordinator. Then went uh, to Detroit for a little bit and was actually really unsuccessful there. So uh, obviously he's got a good background with Sean Payton, but he showed before that when he leaves that, he has not done so well. So what, uh, as Chargers fans, hopefully, uh, you Chargers fans should should hope that he learned from that mistake and has figured it out what he's going to do now in L.A. So new offensive coordinator for the Chargers. I like that. And obviously, like I said, he did fail in Detroit, but he also had a great a great career there in New Orleans. So I got faith in this Joe Lombardi guy uh, as offensive coordinator for the uh, for the Chargers. So that's part of the reason why this offense is going to be changing. But essentially, the interview uh, was basically informing Justin Herbert and, and really telling him that, that the Chargers organization has faith in him to carry more weight uh, with the Chargers offense going into this year. Obviously... I want to compare it to another offense in the league, say the Cleveland Browns, I think is a totally opposite offense as the Chargers. Uh, here in, in L.A., not here in L.A., but looking at the Chargers, um, you got Justin Herbert, who is the, 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 the focus point of the entire team, and uh, the offense 100% relies on what he does. You don't have a super strong running back in, uh, in Austin Eckler, a guy that catches a lot of good passes out of the backfield, coming from Justin Herbert again. So, so they don't have a powerful running game, so everything that they – rely on Justin Herbert going to be throwing the balls, uh, throwing the ball to guy, uh, guys like Jared Cook, who they just picked up. Um, of course, uh, Keenan Allen, number one, and Mike uh, Mike Williams, and Jalen Guyton. I think those are their top three receivers. So that is going to be how this Chargers team obviously wins games, is Justin Herbert's going to have to run that. Let's compare to the Cleveland Browns where it's totally the opposite, where Baker Mayfield is going to have to take a step down out of the spotlight and hand the ball off to Kareem Hunt, to Nick Chubb, and that's how they're going to win football games. So I just – Put that in perspective, how this Chargers team is going to have to win football games. I know you Chargers fans know this more better than anybody, that the Chargers fan, or the Chargers are going to have to win games led by Justin Herbert and his passing attack, supplemented by an Austin Eckler run here or there and, and a pass out of the backfield to him. So I just want to read this quote here from Herbert today from the interview. He says, there are a lot more personnel groups, more formations, and a lot more put on the or on me on the quarterback going up to the line. So that was that was uh, those were his words saying there's more formations, uh, more plays, and more pressure put on him. And he continued on and saying that he knows he can handle it, and I have I have no doubt in in my mind that he can. So uh, that's that's simply put. That was a summary of the interview. Is basically that there's more formations, more plays, and they just have a a sturdier uh, sturdier playbook that they're going to have plays on which uh, which plays to run against which team in which situation. So they're going to have a very detailed uh, game plan coming up to the line, and it's all going to be coming from Herbert and whether or not 
he's up for the task. And I really don't think that there's any reason that he's not. Of course, the Chargers went what seven and nine last year, uh, but that was on a that was after a a good win streak at the end of the season. So you might look at at, at Herbert and say, well, they only won seven games last year. He finished strong, and uh, he really shows the the leadership, the talent, the arm strength, the the out of pocket ability to move. He even knocked some Chiefs linebacker out last year. So Justin Herbert's shown all the skills, and uh, I just really thought that this interview today was pretty cool. Um, any Chargers news is interesting to me, and I'm excited to see what the Chargers can do in the AFC West. It's gonna take it's gonna take a great year from from anybody, everybody in this organization, from the new head coach to the new offensive coordinator to the second year quarterback. It's going to take a great year for them to really compete in that AFC West. Uh, the Broncos bringing in um, Trey Lance. He, who knows how they're how good they're going to be? We know they have the defense to uh, to put up a fight, and we know the Chiefs obviously best team in the AFC, uh, one of the at least. So I think the Chargers got their work cut out for them in that division and in the AFC in general. Very good conference, but with Justin Herbert taking on more of a role, I think that's exactly what. Uh, what the Chargers need to do with him is early in his career make it clear to uh, to him how important he is to their organization and how much faith they have in him. To put that right on the table uh, to begin with, because I do believe that uh, that he can handle it, and I think that by by showing by the organization showing him that early in his career, I think that's going to put put it forward mo- or moving forward that uh, that he's the future of that franchise, and I think he'll appreciate that. And uh, just the fact that they're bringing in more plays. We saw, I don't know, last year, like I said, the Chargers struggled early in the season and finished strong, and I just really want to see them carry that into next year. They, Like I said, they bring in Jared Cook, a guy that's going to replace, help replace Hunter Henry. Obviously, Cook is older, and he's played for half the teams in the league. Uh, not really, but he's played for a lot of teams. And that'll still give Justin Herbert a good red zone target. And uh, like I said, I think this is big for the Chargers and big for Herbert. So I'm, I'm excited to see what they can do putting more weight on Justin Herbert's back. That's really what the interview was about. And as far as the question of the day, do I think, uh, or am I taking over or under on Justin Herbert 40 touchdowns? Again, 31 touchdowns last year through 15 starts. It's pretty dang good for a rookie, no doubt. But here's my thought process. He had 31, like I said, 15 starts as a rookie. This coming season, he's going to have, pending his health, hopefully stays healthy, uh, 17 starts. And he's going to have a whole year of experience already under his belt. So he's going into his second year. He's, he's like I said, this training camp, uh, he also talked about the training camp in the interview, how it's going well. And he's had to take a leadership role even early in his career to, to tell guys, hey, look, I know we've got a lot to learn, but we're going to be able to do it. That's what he said was the, the toughest part so far has been just memories on the new stuff, but he's been he's been working hard at it. So anyway, he's going to have the game plan memorized. He's going to be a second year in the organization. He's going to have a lot working for him. So and plus 17 games, I think Justin Herbert's going to hit the 40 touchdowns, but not by much. I'd say 40 or 41 is the number. So I would take I would take the over. Uh, I'd say maybe maybe 42. I guess 40 wouldn't hit it, but 41, 42 touchdowns I think is what we're looking at. But even if he comes out throws 37, 38, the Chargers can have a real good season on those numbers. But if I had to take one, I'm going to take the over. I got faith in Justin Herbert. But guys, that's all for the video. Thanks for watching, and remember to comment below what you think about this interview with Justin Herbert. Thanks for watching. Two minute warning.